Look at this. Y'all know what that is? I'm gonna turn it around. It's poke salad. Stay here with mommy. But this is poke salad. It looks like somebody been over here. But remember a while ago I was talking, I made a video about I don't trust apps. And I took a picture of this tree on one of my find it apps. And it said that this plant was poisonous. And part of that's true. The stalk, see how dark it is? The stalk is poisonous and these little things that be growing out. You don't eat the little berries. Usually they look like little berries, but you can't see them right now. Um, but the leaves are edible. Are the leaves poisonous? No, nope, they're not. All right, I'm about to head back. But y'all, I'm gonna take a picture of it real quick. But I, as soon as I took a picture of it, it didn't even say part of the plant was edible. Just the whole thing was just throw the whole plant away. The whole, oh, oh Lord, the whole plant was poisonous. And I'm like, yeah, that's not true. And I was like, wait a minute, that's misleading. So I read further to see and um, I was like, why would they say the whole plant is poisonous? At least say part of it, like which part is edible. So I delete the whole app. Cause I'm like, I can't even go by that. Cause I remember growing up, we had them growing in the backyard. Even now you can ride down the street and you can see that growing. And I remember when I was in the military, we'd be on the land nav courses and I would see them growing out in the woods. And I'm like, y'all know what this is? And people be looking at me crazy. And I'm like, this is poke salad. And nobody was like, what in the world is that? I said, you can eat this, but it's so distinctive, right? It's beautiful at the same time, but you can eat it. And you can cook it just like mustard greens, collard greens, all of that. Spinach, it's the same thing. Again, you have to make sure you clean it. And I like collard greens and all that. You don't have to wash them 10 times um, to get them clean. So, but yeah, y'all. So that was poke salad, P-O-K-E salad. And it grows wildly. I even have some now growing in the backyard. Last year, my husband cut it down accidentally. I say, babe, where's my poke salad? He said, I thought it was a weed. So this year he remembered, he's like, hey, I kept that thing you said I cut down last year. And it's growing in a different location. So apparently they're wild, they are wild, but they grow without you even have to plant them. And it is not even growing in the same spot. So y'all, if you see it, keep it and harvest it. And probably like spinach, it'll shrivel up, so you gotta get enough of it. But y'all, I just wanted to point that out. And that's one thing I like about just walking. You should be able to identify edible plants when you're walking. You know, you could be anywhere, you're like, oh, I can eat that. You ready? Let's go back. Got them out here with me. Getting some vitamin D. But yeah, y'all, make sure, you know, just, you know, doing your research. And I like to listen to Pete, Jordan, Jordan. Um, back in the day, I was listening to this man, his grandmother, he was talking to his grandmother who grew up during the Great Depression. I don't know if she was 90 some or 80 something. She was up there still moving around and she was talking about how they didn't know they were poor at the time, but they never not, they never didn't have food, right? All the relatives had chickens, or they had stuff growing. And they would talk about how they would store their food. Like they had too many apples, they would bury them in the ground. And I'm like, hmm. So, what is it, buddy? All right, get on that side, control it. And she, they ran up on some poke salad and they were like, she's like, yeah, we used to eat this all the time. And I was like, there we go again. Proof that the whole plant don't need to be thrown away. What is it, buddy? 
You saw a dragonfly? All right, let's go. And I love listening to people that are older talking about what they used to do and how they used to preserve their food. Because ain't nothing changed. We could still do it now. And I just thought it was interesting listening to her talking about how it was and how they used to eat. And they never really went hungry. What is it? Okay, control it. You're all over the place. But yeah, y'all, so I just wanted to share that. I didn't bring my baggie because I was going to take some of it, but I said I'll leave it. I got some growing in the yard. If I ever really need to, I know where to find it. Oh, Lord, it's hot. Come on, buddy. We're almost there. You want to bring that thing. Come on. We're almost there. Yeah, y'all, that's all I got. I'm enjoying the rest of this walk. But I just got excited when I saw that. I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah, keep your eyes open. And um, there's a lot of other things that are edible that they tell us are weeds that we need to pick out and destroy. But it's actually quite good for us. But I'll see y'all later. I love y'all. Bye. Right, this wind. All right, y'all. Oh, let me put this back in my I'm trying to see the one that I had growing at the house. This one actually has some little berries on it. Let me show you nothing over here. <gasps> Y'all, I'm out here looking for the poke salad and I saw a watermelon. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But y'all, look at this. Here's the other one. Look at this thing. So that's how you see it. Usually they all look like this with the little dark, little berry looking things. But y'all, this is edible. This is actually a good little harvest. Look. And of course, these are, they get smaller as you come up, but the ones closer to the base are larger. But yeah, so again, you don't eat this. You cut it off, clean it real well, and that's the poke salad. And I got one growing, and it's then stemmed off. I'm trying to see if I got some more. That's the only one I got for now. So I'll see how long they go. Y'all, I ain't been out here in a couple of days. But I see a watermelon over here. Let me see if that's the only one. Y'all, look at him or her. Look at them. <gasps> look at this little thing. I got to come water them when I when it gets a little cool out here. Look at that little thing. And look, that's how much. I only planted like six seeds. This is the watermelon right here. Even though you see all these little flowers, that's the only one I see. I had like eight. Who the Lord is hot out here. I think some came out here and ate them. Because they are no longer budding anymore. They've disappeared. Oh. That's it, y'all. That's the only one I got. Out of all that growth going on. But hey, that's enough. And this is the first year I'm growing those. They are the yellow, little yellow sweet watermelon. So I'm excited. Oh, they didn't came out over here. Oh, I see some more. <gasps> Let me get in here. These ain't growing no way. Look, y'all. Wait, I lost it. Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh, there's one right there. I'm pretty sure there's some more. All my little my little pumpkins then went to crap. See my lettuce going to seed. So I'll take that. You see, look, Jordan, look over here. Look what I found. Look, look over here. 
Look, you see it on the end? You see it? Look on the ground, near your foot. What's that? A watermelon. It is. We're going to eat that for tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. It's not ready yet. But we'll know when it's ready. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how it looked. And again, they are edible. So again, do your research. Talk to your elders. If you ain't got no more here with you, talk to somebody's elders. All right. And that's, I've been seeing a lot of people too that's still here, 90, 100 years old. I've been seeing a lot of those birthdays coming up. So they didn't live through some stuff. And I love talking to them just to see, hey, what were y'all doing back then? Oh my goodness. And some of them still live similarly because at any moment they know that we could go back to that. And then we know the saying, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So it's good to stay in the habit of doing certain things because if not, you're going to forget. All right, y'all, that's all I got. I just wanted to show you that. But literally, I didn't plant that. Do they even have those seeds anywhere? I don't know. But y'all, it's literally growing in the backyard and on the side of the road. Whoo, Lord, if you're in the south, if you probably go outside, you'll see a lot of it growing. And you probably even know what it was. You probably thought it was a weed, too. And it's fine. It'll come back. But don't cut it down no more. Or give it to somebody. All right, y'all. That's all I got.